What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregos TV. This is going to be a comparison of the Galaxy Z Fold 2, which is right here, versus the Galaxy Z Fold 3, which is right here. And I'm going to go through things like, you know, how they feel in your hand in terms of the weight, the cameras, the speakers, the overall fit and feel of the phone itself and uh, just the way it looks and you know all that kind of stuff so let's first talk about the way it looks i think the most glaring thing that you're going to notice here is that the z fold 2 has the camera cut out in the very top right you see that little circle the black circle and on the z fold 3 it is there but it's kind of hidden you can't really see it uh, at least i can't when i'm looking at it right at this moment you can in certain situations but other than that that you know you can't on the sides here show off the uh, buttons the buttons are a little bit different too here so on the z fold 3 which is this one right here the silver one the buttons do feel a little bit smoother they don't have it's just just smoother like the z fold 2 buttons especially the fingerprint sensor has a little bit of a, like a, a cat's tongue to it just a slight cat's tongue to it i mean that's kind of like a like a shot like a like a eraser of some sort you know with that kind of feeling and then the button volume buttons are a little bit sharper on the z fold 2 as well but button wise i definitely prefer the uh, z fold 3 buttons for sure at the bottom here you're going to get the same cutouts for both phones you're going to get usb-c charging ports microphone you do get more speaker grills on the z fold 3 so theoretically the sound should be bigger and better on the left hand side of the phone um, opposite ways but you get your sim card ejector at the bottom left on the z fold 2 on the z fold 3 it's in the top left and then at the very top of the phone again more speaker grills more cutouts for that for the z fold 3 which is at the bottom along with a couple of more microphones as well next we get to the back of the phones and the displays are basically exactly the same like the on these you know back parts right here the big difference is the camera cutout which one do you prefer more um, i think i like the way the z fold 3 looks better right here the more circular versus more squared off but i mean that's really per, uh, preference at that point also the camera bump seems to be a little bit smaller on the z fold 3 and the back of the phones um, i have the bronze here which i've grown pretty tired of and now i have the silver on the z fold three out of these two colors i would choose the z fold three i like this silvery color that changes different gradients as you angle it towards the light next up would be the front displays on the front displays again they're the same sizes they got the same camera cutouts the big difference is the z fold 3 has 120 hertz refresh rate whereas the z fold 2 has a 60 hertz refresh rate so theoretically the z fold 3 should feel smoother when scrolling through a website or something that you're looking at so just doing this real quick I can see that the Z Fold 3, at least in my eyes, looks a little bit smoother on here. It might be tough to see on here, but definitely you can see like that. Also, the Z Fold 3 on both screens is supposed to be about 20 to 30% brighter on the front screen and on the inside screen. So I'm going to put these up to their max brightnesses. And you might not be able to tell from here. But let's get this all the way up to as bright as they can go. And I'll see if I can notice any difference with these in terms of the brightness that i see which is kind of interesting when i look at these displays it's tough to tell that there's really any difference but the z fold 3 does look a little whiter which i guess you could it, that could be like the, the the screen warmness or coolness to it um but in terms of it being brighter i would it's very difficult to see it's almost indistinguishable that it's it's brighter um but if i sure i guess it looks a little brighter than the z fold 2 does over here on the left um, if you can tell the difference put it in the comments but it's really tough to see but again if i had to put my money i'd say it doesn't look 20 percent brighter maybe it looks about five to ten percent brighter than the z fold 2. here's the inside displays both of them are at their peak brightnesses just so you see and very very difficult to tell still which one is, is, is exactly brighter. Um, I guess I can go with the Z Fold 3 again. It does look 
ever so slightly brighter, not much of any difference. I think if you held this to somebody and you didn't say they were two different phones and you just said they were the same phone, I don't think they'd be able to tell personally. When I look at this, it's very, 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 very small. So, um, you know, what we've heard of it potentially being, you know, 20% brighter, maybe it is, uh, you just can't really tell all that much. Uh, but yeah, it does look a little, little bit brighter. Both of the displays were already 120 hertz before on the inside, so uh, nothing's changed really there. It's really just the cutout for the camera that you can't see. Okay, both of these phones are directly right in front of me. Z Fold 3 has a lot more microphones versus the Z Fold 2, but I am curious to see if one sounds better than the other. That'll be the true test. And uh, everything's using the same app on both of these. Everything's the same bit rate at 256 kpbs. What do you guys think? Which one sounds better, the Z Fold 3 or the Z Fold 2? So I've got the brightnesses back to 50% on both of these. I'm gonna play the same exact video at the same time, just so we can get an idea of what these look like completely maxed out next to each other and see if one you know, looks better than the other or even just, you know, with the camera cutout, you see the camera cutout over here you, and it's not very noticeable. I mean, things like that, you get used to it. So, and especially if there's something black on the screen, you're not going to really notice, but you can see over here, this com it's completely hidden. I do not see it. Well, I can see it a little bit shaded, but I really have to look at it in order to see it. Um, both displays look amazing. They both look really, really good. Um, you know, you're not going to be there's not a huge difference between the displays in terms of the quality of them or even that camera cutout. Sure, would I not want to see that at all? Yes, but is it the end of the world? If you do, not not really. And most people don't even watch their videos in, in that size of the displays. You watch it like this and they both look indistinguishable again, pretty much. Next, let's do a volume test. So I'll put this one up to max volume. This is the Z Fold 2. Brick, basically. And right here it says maximum 35 watt, maximum 15 watt. Next up, we'll unbox the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Z Fold 3. Your USB charging adapter. And then you got your watch. It does have the rotating bezel. This is the largest one they sell. It's pretty big, but I think it's, a, I'm glad I got the bigger size, the bigger screen, all that stuff, and uh, got the rotating bezel. So I think this is the best one for me to choose. So we'll end up seeing how I like this. And the, the weight, just right off the bat, just feel I like have to happy. say, which is weird to me, these two phones, it seems like the Z Fold 2, which is on the left here, has louder sound. It's weird because you wouldn't think it did because the Z Fold 3 has more speaker grills to it and theoretically it should have more sound to it, better sound, but it sounds, the Z Fold 3 sounds a little bit more tinnier, um, sounds with less bass and the volume sounds less as well. It's really weird. Next up, we'll unbox the flip cover with S Pen. Here you go with the case. Now the case... Here you go with the case. Now the case... As you can see, this actually feels pretty nice. It's like a vinyl feel to it. You got your Samsung logo. Yeah, there's definitely a, a difference between these two. Let me play a song real quick just to see if we can notice a difference with that. So we're gonna play the same song on both of these. We're gonna do it on the Z Fold 3 first. Yeah, without a doubt, if I had to choose between these two, listening to these in front of me, I would choose the Z Fold 2 with the better sound completely. Volume, bass, quality of sound, I feel like it sounds better than the Z Fold 3. Now, currently at the time of making this video, the softwares are a little bit different. It's newer on the Z Fold 3 versus the Z Fold 2. Some of those differences are, I'll show you right here, when you go into like settings, when you go into settings, you get a view like this. On the Z Fold 2, it's just straight down. 
you get all of your settings in one column when you go into that all you see is that but on here if i go in here you can see i get split columns if i go into display i can still see all the columns on the left to go into all the categories and then it's split into the other half of the screen for that so i mean it could be you might like this better you might like this better but that's generally what it looks like uh, with some of the apps in terms of performance just opening up apps let's just try a couple here that's funny z fold 2 opened up uh I guess a little bit quicker. Open up Twitter next. Again, Z Fold 2 for the win. Go for YouTube now. Yep, so, I mean, this is just opening apps, but it's kind of interesting to see this. Yeah, I mean, they're both even, but I mean, it, you're not going to see a huge difference usually with things like that with the 888, which is in this one, Snapdragon 888 versus the 865 in the two. But I'd have to say so far, the, the, the two is definitely holding up to the uh, Z Fold 3 in a lot of ways. Fingerprint sensor, they both are some of my favorite fingerprint sensors. Really, really accurate, really good. Here's the Z Fold 2. So, I mean, slight edge just feeling wise and, and accuracy, I'd probably give it to the three, but the two comes very close. Next, let's check out the cameras. So cameras on here are a little different. Um, you can see the camera right there and this front camera on the big display also shoots in 4K. The front the camera on this phone only shoots at 1080. So take that into mind. On the front here, though, both will go up to 4K 30, and this one will actually go up to 4K 60, which is nice, and then the back cameras as well. So I'll take a couple photos and videos, and we'll see what camera looks better. All right, I'm looking at the Galaxy Z Fold 3 currently with the very front camera of this phone, the one on the smaller display. I'm now looking at the Z Fold 2 camera. Which one looks and sounds better? Let me know in the comments down below. Back to the Z Fold 3. What do you think? Let me know. Back to the Z Fold 2. And now we have video on both. I'm talking to the Z Fold 3. You can see my dog right there, my pile of messes because I've been doing unboxings all day of the Z Fold 3 and all the accessories that I bought with it. Um, my office is a complete mess. But yeah, here's a, a good idea of what this looks like. Look up the blue light, run that over. What do you guys think? Which one looks better? Let me know in the comments down below and also which one sounds better. Holding these in your hand, theoretically the Z Fold 3 is lighter and more durable. Um, but I wouldn't say this phone feels not durable. And the weird thing is, even though this is you know, theoretically and is lighter, um, they feel very close in hand to weight. And the Z Fold 2 actually does feel a little bit lighter. It's really, really strange, but for me, it actually does. So when it comes down to these two phones, should you upgrade? If you have the Z Fold 2, should you upgrade? I would say no don't upgrade unless you're having a lot of problems or your phone's broken and you want to get the next generation yes but i really don't think there's enough reason to upgrade to the z fold 3 from the z fold 2 now if you've never had a folding phone and this is your first folding phone yes get the z fold 3 i think it's you know in some ways it's a better phone overall and it's probably going to be a better deal as well when it comes down to it with trade-in values and deals and things like that so yeah i'd say get the z fold three but speakers are better on the z fold 2 um I, I like the front camera better on the z fold 2 at least on the bigger display um both of them they look very similar they the, the features are very similar in terms of the software and uh the camera the the uh, fingerprint sensors and the volume buttons and they can both wa both wirelessly charge they can both charge at the same speed they can both charge devices on the back 
of their uh, respective devices on the back here. So like they're very similar in a lot of ways and I don't think there's enough of an upgrade to upgrade, you know, like obviously you get 120 Hertz on this display on the Z Fold 3 and you don't, but I mean, is that a game changer? Not really. And the brightness, even though it is seemingly a little bit, tiny bit brighter on the Z Fold 2, 3 on both of these displays, you know, is it that much brighter and, and, and does it help that much? Not really. So again, if you have both these phones or you're thinking about getting the Z Fold 3 and you have the Z Fold 2, if you're tight for money, don't upgrade. Uh, or if you're just on the fence about upgrading, I'd say wait it out. Uh, but if you have to get a folding phone and you want a folding phone, get the Z Fold 3. Just because it's newer, you'll probably get a better deal and it's still a really, really great phone. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road.